Here we go, 106 pounds, Division Two State Championships 2013. Seth Beard on your left, white pinstripes. Napoleon takes a half shot there. Tyler Warner, the ominous Yurksville Claymont pinstripes. They started it all. Eric Tokenin. Head coach over there. Retired from teaching now. Fully focused at a half shot. That, that over there will decide who's going to be a runner up, probably. And Warner's going to shove them off when they come on that end. Cool. Slide by attempt. Tyler Warner and Seth Beard, both freshmen. These are not the top guys at the weight. Seth Beard, well, they are the top guys at the weight because they're here when it matters, but rankings wise, not the top guys at the weight, I guess is what I should say. Top guy at the weight, Beard took out. Nationally ranked. Stickley. And Warner's going to shoot him off. We're going to get a new start. Off the reset, 49 seconds left in the first. Says Division 206 pounds. Ohio. 2013. 2013. Two freshmen getting after it. Eighth and the sixth ranked guys in the state. What's beautiful about the state tournament? Anyone can win it. And Warner shoots Beard off. Coaches and rest. 15 seconds left in the first. We've got no score here between Warner and Beard. Yet. Beard on your left. Takes a shot. Warner a little throw by attempt there. Nothing doing. We're going to have a scoreless first between Tyler Warner, Blame on Yurksville, Ohio versus Seth Beard of Napoleon, Northwest Ohio. Good stuff thus far. Scoreless, high level stuff. We're going to have a freshman state champ one way or another here. Ooh, nice jam there. Great stuff on top by Beard. There's a switch attempt. Another switch attempt. We're off the we're going to get a new start. Off the restart, 150 left. Team Beard. Napoleon, who's on top, versus Tyler Warner of Claymont. Claymont, notorious for being junkyard dogs. Beard got a bloody eye. And we're going to get some blood time here. Schmitty's Corner Rugs responsible for the Division II state championships they paid for. The Ohio cast to be here. They are our sponsor. Check out Schmitty's Corner Rugs at cornerrugs.com. Schmitty, the kid from the valley. Predator and Schmitty, probably the two biggest supporters of the Ohio cast. Of course, I got my dude down the way, the bus dash, Mark Bader, joining me. Beard, kid is a road warrior in the sense that he drives everywhere to train. Play my excellent tradition, Coach Token, and you see him walking up to talk to Warner. This is about the 7,000th Warner to wrestle for Coach Token. I want to say that's... Kyle Warner right there. And we're back to action. 131. On the restart here. Beard pretty good on top. I want to say he tilted Stickley to beat him. And Switch City. Now Beard dives head underneath. We're going to scramble. It's a 50-50 right now. Still Beard's control. Beard is not one of those guys that had to go to a high profile program. But uh, also, where he lives. Good for him. Claymont. We got an absolute barn burner next door between Assad and Rodriguez. Not worried about that.
that match, I'm worried about Beard. Seth Beard, Napoleon, riding tough on top. Both freshmen here, Warner a freshman as well. Warner on the bottom right now, needs an escape with 38 seconds left in the second period. Beard riding tough. And there's a stall warning. Um, what you'll find in Ohio is not famous for their mat wrestling, as you can see right there. Pennsylvania, they let you ride all day long. No stallings. Wasn't hanging an ankle, so was working for all intents and purposes. Now he busts Warner flat, does beard. Disagree with that more. Maybe that one was stalling, but not the first one. So Beard's gonna ride, and he's gonna have to go underneath for the third against the junkyard dog from Claymont. Sad Rodriguez 6 5 over here. Spice Yulinski 1 0 in favor of Spice. The other matches. Seth Beard on the mat to start the third. See if Warner can go junkyard dog Claymont style on top. They're very tough on the mat. They're like cradles, I know that. I know Warner's. I know Kyle Warner was a big cradle guy. This is Tyler Warner. here in the third period. Warner, Tyler Warner on top right now. One over, one over Seth Beard. And there's a stall warning. This is a very anti man wrestling official. And at least he's calling it fair. I gotta, gotta give him that much. Calls are going both ways at least. Of course, if you look at the NCAA tournament, Pennsylvania has the most NCAA qualifiers every year. Not because of their overwhelming population, but because of ride time. And you have to go to ride and get out in college. And that's where it's at. We got overtime over on Division 3. Galinsky Spies. One oh eight left third period here. Beard sits out. Looking to work hands. Warner looking a hard mat return, nice mat return. Got the acoustics going here, the stage. And 40 seconds remains. Warner's been dinged, as has Beard. Beard twice, Warner once, 1-0 lead, Warner. Got a feeling this official's not gonna let him ride out. Runs him out, and there's a stall warning. We're tied. 29 seconds left. Oh, Long Johnson. Beard just needs an escape for the win now. Warner can turn, get the turn for the win. D3 just got over, Spice winning in overtime. It looks like we're gonna go to overtime too. 10 seconds remains. And Beard and Warner are gonna go to, are, they're gonna go to a one minute sudden victory. One minute sudden victory, Beard, Warner. 106 has proven to be a barn burner thus far. Every weight, we got a 6-5 matchup here in Division One. As we get blood, 
We had a 3-1 overtime sudden victory takedown over there by Spies of Pike Delta York, Delta Panthers. Now we got Tyler Warner for Seth Beard, both freshmen. Probably both surprise finalists. Beard Warner, sprint to the finish, overtime, won a state title as a freshman. Beard, a couple little fakes there, a little knee level changes there. Warner keeps his hands on him. Beard almost stutter stepping. Warner, slide by attempt. Beard drops down to his knees, no penetration on that shot. And Warner's pushing. Side Rodriguez over here. Getting down with it. Rodriguez going to win the state title for Madison Perry. We're going to another overtime period, it looks like, here in Division II. Flip goes to Beard. He defers. Warner's gonna go down to start the first ride out. And now Beard with a cross wrist chops him. Warner looking to come out here and clear his hips. He's almost looking like Kazoni. Now we're switching. He's got him cracked to his hip. Looking to hook the foot. We got 10 seconds left. He's got it locked up. Beard hanging on. Beard still hanging on. Three, two, one. We're going to the next ride out. Seth Beard can ride for the win here. This is the only match going on in the building. Freshman looking to be the next Tomasello, Bo Jordan, if they can be. Logard and Stever, Hunter Stever, whatever. Insert four time state champion and or future four time state champion. Corner can get out and win the match here. And it looks like Warner's looking for the cradle. We are going to go to ultimate tie break here at 106 pounds. They're gonna use all the time allotted to them, these two. You get out, you win. You get ridden out, you lose. 30 second sprint to the finish, and now he's calling for some injury time. We got a 1-1 one -one score here. 106 pounds, Division Two, Ohio. Yeah, they both got two stops. Yeah. So, to set the stage, they're in the seventh period, ultimate tie break. I've seen Jake Ryan and Edgar Bright go to it last night. Tyler Warner, Seth Beard, Napoleon Claymont. Napoleon on the bottom, Claymont covers. Beard up to his feet. He covers. Switch attempt. Tyler Warner hanging on, 22 more seconds. There's a locking hands call, it looked like. Almost looked close. There's a locking hands call. Missed locking hands call. Oh man, that looked like locking hands to me. Anytime they touch, it's a class. Tyler Warner going to get a state title. Tyler Warner, Claymont picks up another champ. He is stoked like a snowboarder. And there it is, the Junkyard Dogs. Mustangs pick up a champ. Coach token in. Very familiar and Warner is pumped. Oh man. Nice job. Oh, 
was fun to watch. Beard comes over in good sportsmanship, shakes the hands, and there's your champ in a marathon, Warner.